Hello, my name is Vazgen. I'm with Kobex Construction Group. And today we're visiting a current job site. We're gonna go up on the roof and we're gonna take a look at the install process. We'll go over some details. We'll meet some of the guys and we'll have a little bit of fun. Follow me. So we have the night sky shingle here. This is the darkest shingle you can get in what's called the cool roof still. So basically this is the starter strip. This they cut right down the middle. It's the first layer that goes on. So right underneath the shingle on the very first layer underneath is the starter strip. So over the starter strip, then you start laying the shingles down. So you start from the bottom and then you work your way up. So for example, here started from the bottom, you work in the uniform row, work your way up and here, What's cool about these shingles is that they have what's called a starter strip on here. So that's where the nails go in. They punch them into that starter strip and it gives it a higher wind warranty. So that way, when you get those strong winds, they stay more secure on there. It also makes it easier for them to nail along that strip there. So when they're shooting really fast, it's easier for them to hit that line and not miss it because that bond right there, that's where the roof line needs to go. So if that strip is not there, it's harder to get that exact bond right there. So Things like that make it easier for them to install, which they appreciate a lot. So right here, this is a metal valley. So the reason why we like the metal valleys is uh, water drains a lot better. It basically will drain much better on the metal valley than it will if it's just woven shingles. It's a lot safer. This is the vulnerable area where if there is a leak it tends to happen around the valleys, this is more of the vulnerable area. But additionally, we also do an ice and water barrier underneath it. So this is a peel and stick membrane. This gets stuck. So this attaches right on the deck here. And so we'll go two feet this way, two feet the other way, put a metal valley over it, have underlayment come under the shingle, have the shingle come over the valley. And now you have a really beefed up protection in that valley area where water tends to leak. And then we also protect the other vulnerable areas. I'm gonna go show you right now what we do in the other penetrations to make sure that we're not having any potential leaks in these vulnerable areas. So we'll say hi to some of the guys. This is Paul, say hi to Paul. David, what's going on fellas? We're doing a little site inspection here. Oh, don't step there, okay. Marked over there to not step on. They have a little, they're gonna do, looks, looks like a sun tube there. So make sure they gotta mark it to not fall through, so. So that's the starter strip right there, that first layer. I'm gonna show you something over here. So this is what's called the drip edge or the edge metal. So it's a two inch flashing that goes over directly the deck under the underlayment and it goes two inches over the fascia on the other side and it protects the edge of the roof, which is the vulnerable area that, you know, water can get to, so the wood can get damaged there. So we really protect that with that drip edge. This is required by code. I've seen this installed incorrectly so many times. It's, I, I'll see it installed over the shingle all the time. You'll see the drip edge come right over the shingle, and that's an issue because the water can get underneath that and get to the wood. So you want it underneath the starter, over the underlayment to protect that there. We have Sergey installing the gutter guards. So basically this is a gutter guard to help keep the debris out of the roof. You have an elevated ridge here, so it helps it blow off better. But it's super cool if you don't wanna go up there and have to clean your gutters all the time. This is made out of surgical steel. So it's a stainless steel, um, makes it so it doesn't rust. And you can see it's fine. So the granules, if the shingle granules come off or debris, the little granules won't fall in there. This is uh, that ice and water that goes underneath the valley. He's laying that on. It has a film on the bottom. It'll be peeled off. They'll peel that off and it'll stick it right to the deck. So that's the PSU 30 we're using here. So all the areas, like we said, where it's water uh, uh, prone to water leaks, we want to really protect. So if you turn around behind you, you can see um, they're installing what's called the HVAC curb. The old HVAC systems, the older units, a lot of times were installed like what we call like a stick frame. And these stick frames, they're a lot more leak prone. These curbs do much better here with deflecting the water. Underneath it and around it, they have the ice and water again tucked underneath to really protect we have the fat flashings and then the the unit will sit right on the curb over here another thing i want to mention here is um when you have a lower slope like you do here so you see how it comes and it gets a lot shallower here so this when you have anything that's between a two and a four pitch so 2.1 to 3.9 pitch you need to have two layers of underlayment so this is layer number one okay 
But what we do instead of having two layers of this is we actually take the peel and stick and we apply that directly on the board and then we have a second layer over it so it's very much over engineered so to speak because technically you just need two of this but we have a peel and stick and we just do this because we know how likely it is for water to leak more on the shallower slopes than it is on the steep slopes so it just kind of gives that additional peace of mind and then we have the chimney flashing so what we do once we're on the roof we get the measurement we get the right faddle and the chimney flashing we have a fabrication shop that fabricates that sheet metal and uh, we'll get that tucked in get the flashing underneath the, uh, the chimney there. All right, guys, so that's a wrap for today. We're all done. We had a chance to go behind the scene and watch the guys work. I hope you guys enjoyed that session. I had fun and we'll definitely see you next time.